All right, so I figured I'd do a video on this, being I'm getting the problem, and I figured I'd show you something that you may not be aware of, and you might be thinking, oh, well, it's downy mildew, or it's late blight, or it's early blight. I want to show you a tomato disease that's not really that common, but it, it does happen, and it can, once you get it, it's, you're going to have it for a long time. You'll, you won't be able to grow tomatoes for several years if you want to get rid of it. And so basically what it is, is it's called tomato leaf mold. Some people refer to it as, as uh, white mold. Some people refer to it as gray mold. But the real true tax, on, tax economy or whatever it's called uh, for that tomato, for that uh, uh, disease identification is called tomato leaf mold. If you look it up on Google Images, you'll find other images very much the same thing. It's not a blight per se. This is an actual mold very similar uh, it's a very similar kind of a mold that grows the way black mold if you've heard of black mold it grows in your house and if you get it you can get stachybotrys that, that's what the mold is called and you can get this lung disease from it this is a mold very similar to that it's not like a fungus per se like uh, late blight or early blight so let me show you what it looks like on the bottom now if you turn your leaf over you see the top of it, it's got a yellow spot Oh, the first thing you're going to say is, oh, that's probably early blight. I got early blight. I need to spray it. And... But if you turn the leaf over, you're going to see on the bottom of the leaf, you're going to see it looks like this. Now, you, here's an early stage of it. And you can see it spreads all over the plant. You see all these yellow spots? This is all tomato leaf mold. Now, it only affects tomatoes. There's another one that's more starting to mature. Now, I could come in here and start ripping all these leaves out. And that really won't help it because the mold has already gone into a spore state. Once you start seeing this, it's done. Your tomato plants are done. It's already going to. It's already spreading. You just don't see it yet. So you'd have to rip all your tomato plants down, and it's not going to help you. Uh, this particular type of tomato disease is not as bad as late blight, okay, or early blight. It is bad, but it's not as bad. It takes a longer time for it to spread. It does spread but it takes a longer time to kill the plant and eventually it will kill a plant it goes back to the stem and then once it gets back to the stem it forms this fuzz and then the, the plant's dead once you see the fuzz on the stem now you got to rip the plants right out so it, it's eventually that's where it goes that's the direction that it goes but you can see it's all around it's starting to form on here and what else we got here and so like over here see that's tomato leaf mold that's what tomato leaf mold looks like I want to get a good image so I can use it for a thumbnail here all right and you can see it's you can see like very top part of the leaf it's starting to get a yellow spot you can see right there if you turn it over you can see the beginning of it just like a mold spot like on a petri dish it's the same kind of a thing and that's the same kind of mold that gets on my flowers and kills my flowers so my flowers aren't producing tomatoes anymore because of the leaf mold that's coming in it's starting to affect all the plants in here and really the only way to deal with it is to rip the tomato plants down and fortunately that's the only way to get rid of it you can spray it it kind of helps it a little bit but like I said if you see it it's you're done it's just a matter of time you need to get all your tomatoes out of there. It doesn't affect the tomatoes itself. It only affects the leaves. Okay, that's what it looks like. Let me see if there's, there's, there's all over the place. I mean, you can see it and you can see it there. And once you get it like in a greenhouse like this, it's almost impossible to get rid of. Like I said, the only way I can really get rid of it at this point would be to not grow tomatoes in here. They say for a year, but I would I. I would say probably two to three years you can't grow tomatoes in here and you got to let that fungus completely die that's really the only way to to let it die out once you see it you know and and there's it's just an unfortunate thing because it eventually causes your tomatoes to become less productive you're losing flowers it, it won't kill a plant per se right away it takes a while for that to happen but once it happens you know that's that just comes with the with the territory um, one of the ways to avoid that is don't put wood chips in your greenhouse like I did because I probably got that tomato leaf mold from the fungus or the mold that was 
forming from the wood chips. So there's a good chance that it, it came from the wood chips. So now I, I don't really know too much more else about it offhand. I will leave information in the description below. You can read about it. But before you go spraying, and, and you're going to ask the question you're probably asking, well, how do you treat it? Um, I spray it with hydrogen peroxide, and that seems like it works. But when you see it all over the place like this, it's almost pointless to even try to attempt to attack it because it's literally everywhere. I mean, I can see it. It's on here. You, all you see is a little yellow spot, but I know that's going to turn into, eventually, that will turn into, you know, that. That's what happens. And then once you see that, that's game over. But that is not blight. That is actually tomato leaf mold. Just want to make you aware of it. You might be thinking and treating it like it's blight and it's not. And really the only way to combat it, like I told you, is to just simply not grow tomatoes in that area or, or anywhere around there for at least two to three years. And you got to let it die out. And then once it dies out, you're usually good to go. You won't see it anymore. But unfortunately i have to contend with this now for the next you know next year and this year and i you know if you're going to grow tomato varieties that grow really fast like these little white currant tomatoes i mean they'll put out a ton of tomatoes you're going to get more tomatoes off of this this tomato plant for example than you're probably even going to eat i mean it puts out so many tomatoes you get sick of them it's not like you can leave them on there and pick them, you know, leave them on there and pick them whenever you want to make a salad. Yeah, you can do that, but you, you got if you grow as many tomatoes as I do, you're only going to eat so many of these. I got other tomatoes I need to eat to make my salads with, and I'm not going to generally uh, fill up on these, so they end up sitting on here. So what I'm saying is, is that when you get a, a plant variety like this that puts out a lot of fruits, you could... You know, you're not really worried about the tomato blight getting to it or the tomato leaf mold. I don't really care at this point. I'm done with this plant. I'm ready to rip it down, to be honest with you. And so whatever's left on it, I'm going to use for seed, and we're done. I'm going to get it off before the disease gets to everything. So, you know, if you grow, if you have that problem, you can probably get away with these varieties that will will outpace the, the mold or the, mold or the uh, fungus infection. But... If you're going to grow big beefsteak tomatoes where it takes, you know, 60 days for a tomato to ripen, yeah, you'll get, you, you're going to have a problem. You may not get tomatoes out of it, you know. So just keep that in mind, you know, if you have this problem. So just wanted to share that with you and give you one more look. You know, that's what it's going to look like on the top of the leaf and then on the bottom of the leaf. And so if you see that, that's tomato leaf mold. Just don't grow tomatoes for a couple of years and you'll be all right. All right, so like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.